What's up guys? I'm Chucky, nine and three quarters Steve. fingers. Yeah, and uh, today we are dealing with this baler uh, that had a bearing catch fire earlier on in the season. And we decided that we're going to replace all the bearings and all these rollers all the way up here for obvious reasons. Basically all we've done so far is we removed the tension from these belts. So they're all like flippity floppity now. And, uh, and then we were able to push the frame that these rollers ride on. You can move it forwards and back. So we moved it until these things get in here. And uh, this is one problem. This is one roller. The bolt in there, it was just broken off, right? Yeah, it just snapped. We didn't even touch it, did we? It was no. just like that, yeah. So okay. we moved it back to that hole. It was just flopping around in there. And I got some needle nose pliers, throw them in there and pulled out a broken bolt. This baler has had this kind of weird knocking sound the whole time I've had it. I'm starting to think that might be it. So, I mean, this, this is one reason it's good to work on your own stuff because, well, you know, we're getting Mechanic Steve to do it. You find so much stuff when you're in there. We were dealing with the hay bind yesterday and found out that the uh, idler for the main drive belt was pretty much completely seized up. I never would have known about that. I mean, it looks like it's moving when it's running, but there's an overheating bearing in there that's probably about to weld itself solid. And that was like a pretty much guaranteed day ending breakdown, narrowly avoided. So now we're finding stuff like broken off bolts in here. What do you have to add to this mechanic, Steve? Um, whenever you buy a used piece of equipment, and any, even a brand new piece of equipment, get your laser thermometer or a yes. uh, clear camera. Go around to every single bearing. And like, I would, if I would encourage you guys one thing, operate it at just running unloaded, just sitting here, shoot all the temperatures, and then get your paint marker, and then write down bearing temps. You like know, the normal. Yeah, normal, okay. 100 degrees. And then when you're out in the field, you're running it for an hour, stop, go back and shoot the bearing temps and just see what they are and then write those down. And then at the end of every day, you know, when you're gonna break for lunch, whatever, you get a break, open it up, shoot all your bearing temps. And if they're all usually at 115, you got one that's 160, you know you're about to have a catastrophic failure and you get to know your machine because you can shoot temps on every single bearing. Because I think most farmers and most guys that get this stuff, they'll probably never open these doors. They just assume as long as this thing moves and the bales keep shooting out, everything's good until they catch their entire field on fire, lose their tractor, their round baler, and their yep. crop. Yeah, I thought that was uh, not necessary. And now we're replacing this. <laughs> All right, go for it, Steve. Are we doing this top one too? Yeah, we're doing all of them. Just don't lose a finger in there. Oh no, dude. I think that bolt just broke off. Oh, where's your pliers? That's really in there. It's rotating now. You see it? No, I take your word for it. See? Oh, uh, that's the pop of rust. Yeah, so there's all these little caps in each of these holes, and uh, this one obviously is rusted in place. It's knock her loose. Knocks her loose. Every time. And I didn't make a video. <laughs> Something's moving. You know, with enough time and pressure, almost anything can be accomplished. Oh! Remember, lads, anything can be a hammer. Even that air hammer. I don't know what just fell, but something just moved. There's probably the whole roller. I don't think there's anything actually holding those rollers in place anymore. I think what we need to do is open this up. Um, yeah, the other side. There's, oh, I think there's one or two stuck on the other side too. Okay. I think we got to open this up and then they should just flop out. Famous last words. That's good. I'll give you this footage by the words you want to stick it on your channel. Okay. You not ah, put it on so yours? Close. No, I will. Dude, I'm like uh, three months behind editing this stuff right now. <laughs> So this is all it is. Come on, cap. Cap comes off. Bearing sits there. Pry bar coming. Got it. 
you hear that knocker loose too? Yep. Think you can get them from up there? I don't know. I feel like they're kind of locked on something. Okay. All right, everyone. So we have found for sure confirmed one bearing bad in the gear train. It's all gritty and nasty. And you can see there's actually something poking out from around that seal. I don't even know what that is, but uh, yeah, that one needs to be replaced. While we're at it, we're changing the bearing in the gear beside it because it's also kind of questionable. We found one of these roller shafts, the bolts that hold it in are just gone. So like one of those rollers has been flopping around in there like this the whole time I've been running this baler, probably. And uh, yeah, Mechanic Steve's doing a great job. We're getting ready to pop out some of these other bearings just since we have it all apart and I'll go to the bearing place while well, Mechanic Steve probably works on the haybine. So yeah, getting there. Now you're filming. Yeah. I hope those guys don't mind that we're using their press. I'm worried about breaking this flange, but the bearing has to come out. So, up, oh, okay. Oh, praise the Lord. I, I view that as being one where either that was going to happen or it's just going to be frozen and then this whole like thin chintzy cast iron thing they use is just going to explode into a million pieces. Best way to work on stuff is just put all the parts in a completely random pile with no identification whatsoever. Because the end of that is kind of mangled. We'll just press the uh, new one in just like that and we'll JB weld all the pieces together. That'll be fine. 